Hello and thank you for checking out the video on rotations on a Cartesian coordinate system. Hopefully today we're going to learn about um, a really easy way on how to do the uh, rotations. I know a lot of people find it difficult, but I think I've got a pretty simple way on how to do it. Okay, so let's take a look. When we um, look at rotations on the Cartesian plane, there's a general rule that I'd like to follow. So let's say I have this happy face, happy face over here. If I want to rotate it from this quadrant to anywhere else, um, let's say it's 90 degrees clockwise, I'm going to be rotating it one quadrant over. If it's 180 degrees clockwise, it'll be two quadrants over, 270 degrees, three quadrants over. Same thing with the other way. So if I was going to take this happy face and do 90 degrees counterclockwise, I'm going to start here and I'm going to end up in this quadrant. Okay, and 180 here, and 270 degrees counterclockwise, I would end up over here somewhere. So that's just a general rule that we're gonna we're gonna follow uh, when we're doing the um, the rotations. And let's take a look at rotations point by point. So I'm going to put a point. Mm, I'll pick this point right here, and I'll call it point A. And um, if I want to rotate point A 90 degrees clockwise, I know that I'm going to end up somewhere in this quadrant over here. So, what's an easy way to do that? Well, one thing I like to do is ignore the numbers, all these numbers for a second, the positives and negatives. And let's just see how far I move, or point A is up um, this axis over here, um, which I just picked the closest one to point A. It doesn't really matter which axis I choose. I could choose this one if I want to work with, but I'm going to use this one because it's a little bit closer. So this point A is 7 units um, away from 0, away from the origin, and 2 units away from the, uh, from the axis. So I've got 7 units up the axis and 2 units away from the axis. Now I know that point A is going to be in this quadrant somewhere over here, so I'm just going to rotate things around in my mind, working from th from uh, this axis to this axis over here. So I'm going to use that same pattern. I was seven units up up the axis, two units away from the axis, and I'm going to work it. Mm, let me get rid of something over here. Get rid of those guys there. Uh, I'm going to work on this axis and go 7 units up this axis and 2 units away and my new A prime will be over here. So I've got 7 units up the axis, 2 units away. If I wanted to rotate, rotate this uh, point A 270 degrees I, uh, clockwise, I know I'm going to end up in this quadrant over here and I'm going to work it the same way. I'm not, I start using this axis but uh, this was 90 degree axis. This would be moving at 180, so I'm going to use this axis to rotate it um, 270 degrees. So here I go 7 units up this axis and 2 units away, and my point A double prime will be uh, located right over here in this quadrant, in this um, one that I have circled, anyways. 7 units up and 2 units away. Okay, so let's see how that works with the shape. Now with a shape, I'm going to ignore the shapes really. I really don't care about what's going on, what shape it is, rectangle, triangle, it doesn't matter. What I care about is the points. So let's rotate this rectangle, let's say just for simplicity, we'll do 90 degrees um, counterclockwise, CCW. So I know that this shape is going to end up in this quadrant over here because I'm rotating it just one quadrant or 90 degrees over. Now I'm going to ignore the shape, I'm just going to be working with my points. So let's take, whoa, some cool tricks here I just found. Let's take a uh, focus on point A, well that's way too thick. Is that better? Yeah, that's a little better. So I've got um, point A over here and it's, I'll, hmm, I'll choose this uh, axis here because a little bit close I guess to point A. So this this uh, point A is 8 units up the axis and 4 units away from the axis. And now I'm going to transfer my, my line over to this axis and start working here because I'm moving 90 degrees counterclockwise. So I'm going to take go 8 units up this axis and then 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 units away from the axis. 
So the point uh, A prime, sorry, lands over there. Now taking a look at point B, it's only two units up the axis, four units away from the axis. So working with this, with this new um, axis down here, I've got two units up, four units away, and B prime will be here. For point C, again, it's two units up and seven units away. So two units up, seven units away will bring me over here, C prime. And D, it's eight units up, seven units away, which will land me right here, D prime. And I've got to just complete my lines there to, to finish up the box. So what really matters is it's just how, how far up the axis the point is and how far away is it. And knowing that um, for any uh, 90 degree rotation, it's one quadrant over, 180 is two quadrant overs, uh, etc. Now it's, I, I want you to take a turn with this. Um, I've got this triangle here, triangle ABC, and what I want you to do um, to start off is rotating this triangle 90 degrees clockwise. So first of all, we know that rotating it clockwise 90 degrees will land us in this quadrant over here. And what I want you to do is I want you to use this axis right along here to determine um, how far up and away my points are. So I'll give you a, a little hint here. Point A, working with point A, it's two units up the axis, two units away from the axis. So if I'm going to start using this axis over here, oh, I just covered all the numbers, not very helpful. Uh, if I want to start using this axis, I'm going to move it two units up, two units away. So uh, I'm going to be over here, A prime will be located here. We know it's this quadrant. I know that it's not going to be back in the original quadrant, it's going to be in the new image quadrant. And then I'll let you um, put the rest of the points there, press pause if you need to, and uh, we'll take up, just take a note of, of uh, where the new co uh, image coordinates are so that we can take it up as a class. And when you're ready, you can go on to the second question, which is right over here. And we're going to be rotating this rectangle, A, B, C, D, uh, 270 degrees counterclockwise. Now this one is going to be tricky because I've got um, the, the rectangle here and the points spread over two quadrants. So this is where we really have to ignore the shape and just focus on the points. So for example, this point A over here, we're rotating 270 degrees clockwise. So this is 90, 180. So point, A's, uh, point A will land somewhere in this quadrant over here. Uh, point C, 270 degrees clockwise, It'll, it won't be here, that's 90, 180, it'll be on the, this quadrant for 270 degrees uh, uh, clockwise. So please make sure you take a note of where the uh, image coordinates are, and we'll take that up in class. I hope you enjoy this lesson.